Hi, my name is Belen Molina. I attended college in my hometown at the University of Arizona, where I graduated with a degree in ecology and evolutionary biology with a second major in molecular and cellular biology. My journey toward becoming a young scientist started off on an unpredictable path. As a first-generation undergraduate student, I found myself disoriented and without guidance. During this time, I met a wonderful Argentinian woman who would undoubtedly change my life. Her name is Dr. Patricia Stock. She welcomed me into her lab where I learned how to critically think about my surroundings, ask interesting and important questions, and challenge myself to find answers. I also found myself captivated by the diversity in her lab. For the first time during my college career, I was working with diverse individuals, people who I felt I could relate to. My peers and mentors shared stories of how they overcame hurdles as minorities to become successful scientists. I realized then that science has no borders and that through science, many could have a voice a progressive impact on others. I knew from that moment on that I wanted to pursue a career in science, while also contributing my passion to the public. My excitement for science and communities sparked my interest in outreach events, like the Southern Arizona Research Science and Engineering Science Fair and insect festivals, where I could inspire my community to engage in STEM. I was also motivated to engage in research opportunities like Proscomat, a program designed to expose the undergraduates to research abroad. Through this program, I was fortunate to work with Dr. Ryan Rigo at the Institute of Parasitology in the Czech Republic. In his lab, I worked on better understanding the maintenance and transmission of Lyme disease in Europe. By the end of my stay, I was astonished at how much I had learned about host pathogen interactions, but also the globalized community science has become. It is no doubt that I gained an amazing mentor and a clear view of my aspirations during this time. My journey toward higher education has driven me to countless wonderful places and has morphed the passion I feel for science into a defined goal. I would like to obtain my PhD in microbiology, where I can study host pathogen interactions and neglected diseases. I hope to use this knowledge to become involved in science policy and implement better strategies regarding these diseases in destitute countries like Latin America. This year I decided to join PrEP at UGA because I wanted to be better equipped for graduate school. I wanted the guidance and preparation I need to be successful in obtaining my PhD. The program has enriched my path toward a doctorate degree and has benefited me professionally. My hope is to hone the skills necessary for answering meaningful questions and also to gain the professional development needed to engage in a collaborative science community. Throughout my stay at the University of Georgia, I will have the honor of working with the brilliant disease ecologist, Dr. Vanessa Izenwa. The project I'm engaged in involves a very interesting mouse with regenerative properties in adulthood called the spiny mouse. This mouse is originally from Kenya, Africa, and in addition to its awesome ability of growing back tissue, the mouse also has a high bacteria killing capacity. Previous studies have narrowed down this characteristic to the humoral immune system, but the specific element that's contributing to the high elimination of bacteria remains a mystery. Preliminary results have already ruled out component proteins as a contributor and it is now my job to find out if lysozymes are at the root of this phenomena. My goal in the Zenwa lab is to find out if the patterns of lysozyme content in the spiny mouse match the patterns seen in bacteria killing assays and thus contributes to the high bacteria killing capacity. To test this question, I first have to optimize a turbidity assay for the use in wild rodents. The assay essentially measures the loss of intensity of transmitted light of a known wavelength due to the particles suspended in it. A measurement is then given for the amount of absorbed light and can be used to find the number of particles in a solution. Once the assay is optimized, I can use the data to best interpret if lysozymes are causing the mouse to be especially good at killing bacteria. My time in the lab has allowed me to develop skills in experiment design and troubleshooting, as well as hone molecular techniques like monitoring proteins of interest and assessing the efficiency of their function in a cell. Hi, my name is Belen Molina and I'm a PrEP at UGA scholar.